going to lightly cover a mental illness that's um, it's extremely important and needs to be treated. And um, <clears throat> everyone needs to know about borderline personality disorder. Um, my name is Myra Lindley Branham Hatfield, and I'm going to be going over the causes and the uh, symptom, or yeah, the symptoms to identify the causes, and then some healthy response skills, and then. Of course, some movies, if you wanted to watch, I've, I've got like the top three movies <laughs> that depict borderline personality sort of pretty well. Um, okay, first of all, um, if you answer yes to any of these uh, questions, then you might know someone who suffers from borderline personality disorder. You know someone who insults you in front of your peers, uh, robs your security, makes you feel insecure. Okay. Every time you get so confident, they just got to do something and make you really feel insecure. Um, okay, uh, they make you feel inferior just for the sole purpose of making themselves feel better than you, to feeling superior. Um, and someone who misinterprets your motives <laughs> intentionally to hurt your feelings. Okay, chances are you know someone who suffers from borderline personality disorder if you answered yes. Okay. Um, the sent these are not all the symptoms, but these are five most important symptoms according to the National Institute for Mental Health. Um, and that, there's the um, there's the website there. Um, okay, they make an effort to avoid real or imagined abandonment. Um, okay, I wish I could go more into this. I really can't. It really, I need to, but I really can't do it with this speech. Um, Hey, okay, so, in, and then they have a history of unstable and unhealthy relationships and binary thinking, which means you're the woman of his dreams, and the next thing you know, you're being flushed down the toilet into the sewer where the other pieces of shit are. And then, um, three, um, they, you, they struggle with their own self-identity or, or, or image. It's self-image. Okay, that's ego-based, not emotional-based. It's not like, it's not my self-esteem and my self-confidence. It's how you see me and how... How everybody sees me and how I want you to see me and on site. So like they struggle with that. Okay. Um, they engage in risky impulsive behavior. Um, and they have frequent suicidal thoughts. And this is the disease that has the highest rate of suicide, according to the National Education Alliance uh, for Borderline Personality Disorder. And um, they engage in self-harm or cutting. Um, the four causes, these are not all the causes. But this is four of the major causes of borderline personality disorder, um, family history. It's a family disease, but it's not hereditary and it's not genetic. Um, brain dysfunction, brain factors, um, environmental, social, or cultural factors, um, or being exposed to a severe trauma. It could just hit you after something really extremely bad. And it's treatable, nine times out of 10 in most cases. Um, and the treatments are, um, basically, you would want to call a mental health professional because this is a, a really dangerous disease, okay? You identify it, you really need to focus, you really need to pay attention to it. Um, uh, you go to psychotherapy for that person and for anybody in a relationship because it affects everybody. Um, there is a nice, there's several series, video series, um, but uh, I like Med Circle, the one on Med Circle. I watched the videos and they were pretty good. Um, uh, by your network, um, you know, online, um, for, and reach out and uh, connect with other people who are searching for treatment for borderline personality disorder. Um, always keep the National Suicide Hotline uh, on hand for people when you notice somebody has it, or you do, because suicide is real, okay? It happens every day. And sometimes you can help, 1-800-273-HELP. Um, there's three healthy res response skills that you can learn and use right now today. Um, you can validate and identify emotions. Every emotion is real and has a name. Okay, eliminate any negative responses or judgment towards any emotion. Okay, any emotion is okay for you to have. I can name it and I can validate it, okay? I don't have to be negative and judge you, okay, because you're angry at me or because you, you know, you, you have a crazy emotion that I don't understand towards me. Um, even if your relationship does not appear to be improving over a period of time, make one commitment to not making things worse. And that's according to the National Institute um, 
for mental health. Now, these are the three um, top movies that I, um, I mean, there's a lot of them, okay? This one happened, the first one happens to be uh, uh, ironic. Um, it focuses on the treatment of negative memories, eternal sunshine for the spotless, starring Jim Carrey. The next one is Prozac Nation, starring Christina Ritchie. And uh, I don't remember, I don't know, you remember Brittany Murphy from 8 Mile, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, she's the one that committed suicide, but she really did commit suicide. She od Okay, this is Girl Interrupted, starring Winona Ryder, Angelina Jolie, and Brittany Murphy. So, now we have uh, went over um, how important it is to identify the symptoms, and I went over the symptoms and the causes, and, uh, and some of the treatments and things you can use today. I hope that you um, got some information that you can use today.